All right, guys, welcome back to the 13th episode of Flippin' Friday. Per usual, you'll be able to buy this over on my website, zaxtechgraph.com, but I'm actually really excited about the parts list today because we're not only using Intel's latest 12th gen CPU, we also have an RTX graphics card. So this is gonna be a little bit more expensive than what we usually do on this Flippin' Friday series. I paid $865 for everything here, but you'll easily be able to make this like $1,100 to maybe even a $1,200 build. So sit back, relax, and let's queue up this montage before we start building this. Thanks. Real quickly, just going over the performance parts before we start building this PC, I'm super excited that our CPU is none other than the Intel 12th Gen i3-12100F. Very excited to be getting the 12th Gen Intel chips on this Flippin' Friday series. That's gonna be plugged into this Gigabyte B660M DS3H, the DDR4 version we're using just to keep costs down, which is really important for a flip like this. And then the RAM is none other than the white Meta RAM kit the Glowway 2 by 8 gigabyte kit clocked at 3200 megahertz and paired with all of that is none other than an overpriced graphics card that I personally paid way too much for but you don't have to anymore is the EVGA XC RTX 3060. This paired with the i3 12100F is going to be a nasty price to performance combo. Let's start building this thing. Real quickly, I just wanted to remind you guys that today's build was indeed activated with Windows like all my other PC builds and flips, and I personally use GVG Mall, which is also the sponsor of today's video. Right now, they're actually increasing our normal 18% discount all the way up to 25% off, so you can get a legit Windows 10 activated version without that nasty watermark for a really cheap price. They also have other great products on other software like Office 2021, and even some game keys from platforms like Steam, Origin, and Uplay, and they even have console stuff too like PSN, and Xbox prepaid cards as well. Activating that Windows 10 on your computer is super simple to do. The entire process of buying and activating takes like five minutes total. So make sure you click that first link down in the description and don't forget to use discount code ZTT18 for 25% off. So we got the 12100F installed and I really real quickly just wanted to explain why I'm so excited about this CPU. So by itself, I've been buying these for around $100 to $110. Right now, today, they're $99 over at Micro Center. So just for the value alone, they're really good. And with the cost of B660 motherboards like this, it's just becoming more and more relevant for these budget to mid-tier flips. But the other sneaky reason why I like it is because I'm in love with the stock CPU cooler, specifically with this teal color. Like that by itself looks so good. But then when you pair it with some Asia Horse teal cable extensions, these just match up absolutely perfectly. And this is going to be the entire theme and color scheme of our build today. It looks so good. That's why I'm excited about the 12100F. So now that we have our motherboard and our power supply prepped and ready to go, it's time to get out the case here. And this is the DIY PC ARGB Q8-W. And I wanted to talk about this real quickly because this is almost a bottleneck of this system. Now, I really like this case for $45 because we have the PSU vinyl cutout action, which you guys know I really like. It also has the micro ATX form factor, and then it even takes care of all of the RGBs with the rear RGB fan and the front design up here. But the reason why I say it kind of bottlenecks our system is because for a $900 to $1,000 system, throwing a $45 case in there, it's not gonna bottleneck the performance, but feel free to spend a little bit of extra money on this case if you want to. I really like the case for $45, but it's a little bit cheap for this high end of a system. <music> And then 
finally, the last part that we're installing is of course the graphics card. And I wanted to quickly explain this because this is the EVGA RTX 3060 and I personally paid $511 for it. This was actually a pretty solid deal during the GPU shortage. But obviously now that we're no longer in a shortage and we're kind of in a surplus, this is a very bad deal. So if you are going to copy this build as a build guide, I would be aiming somewhere around the 400 to 420 dollar mark i just saw an msi one sitting on newegg all day yesterday for 410 dollars so you're going to be able to get a little bit more of a profit than what i did with this rtx 3060 so keep that in mind but we're still going to make a profit on this one even overpaying for it but good thing the gpu shortage is over And real quickly, I did forget to mention that I pre-cut this white carbon fiber vinyl strip here to cover up that nasty red line on the EVGA RTX 3060. This looks so much better with the white and black contrast compared to that white and red. So with the graphics card installed, it's now time to turn on the system. And I did just realize that these R2Bs look pretty solid, but this teal color is not matching the teal of our cable extensions and our stock CPU cooler. So I'm gonna change the RGB to white and there it is ladies and gentlemen that looks absolutely beautiful let's take a very quick look at the final parts list and then we're going to wrap up this video so here you have it here's the full parts list and like i said i personally have 966 dollars invested into this but if you're following this as a flip template i would aim closer to 865 dollars because of the gpu pricing change that i explained earlier and also that super flower power supply deal that i got is definitely not repeatable to do right now just for the record but either way you can definitely make this a less than 900 dollar build and that should be able to sell for well over that close to 1100 maybe even 1200 dollars if your postings and pictures are on point and please remember to market this as the latest intel 12th generation chip that'll definitely help you sell that pc and then just like normal i did have sam whip up a very quick benchmarking run we don't have any gaming footage or anything but here are the numbers for those of you that are interested in that and just like always i will be selling this pc over on my website zaxtechturf.com that'll be on the june 1st launch but that's going to wrap up flipping friday episode number 13. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you check out the previous 12 episodes. I'll see you guys in the next video.